Morning, Twin. How you doing? Hey, what's up there, Don? I, I hope it's, it's good. It's, it's, it's a little common sense. Okay, I got to move. I hope uh, I can get this out before we have technical difficulties. In the name of our ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of what I call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program. Known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the Mighty One, Angus Snub Nub Seven. I, I am also your soul brother, number one. Continue on this road for six miles. Many of you who are. You have seven hours and 45 minutes of remaining drive time. Follow this uh, ministry. You know I really don't comment on uh, celebrity and gossip and those things out in media. I don't, uh, I don't follow news stories. The only news that I want to hear is you and I are on our way to true liberation. I really don't have any concern with the issue of Dwayne Wade's son. I could care less if he want to be a gorilla, if he want to be a, a goat, whatever that boy want to be, whatever he can be, that's what he can be. That's no concern of mine. You may say, why? It's no concern of mine. It's not my child. I don't live in his world. That's the celebrity Hollywood world. What you think it is? Hollywood is a bunch of freaks. What do you expect from Dwayne Wade's child or Snoop Doggy Dog's child or anybody caught up in Holly Weird? That's what they call it. Holly Weird. You don't know what this young boy saw. You don't know what this young boy have experienced. You have no idea. Gabriel Union, I don't know why you want to come out into the public, but they do. She want to tell soul sisters, it's all right to eat your man's booty. How nasty and disgusting this woman is. All of us got a booty. And we know what booty do. Matter of fact, that's what you do with your booty. You sit on your booty and you take a dump. I don't care how clean you think you are. Doo-doo is always on your boo-boo. When you mess with the penis and vagina, I don't care what you do, I don't, call, I don't care how clean you think you are. Urine and feces, is always in that area because that's that's where you do your that's where you do your thing even even your skin has a function to help get rid of your poisons in your body when you sweat feces and and filth come out through your skin that's just how it is. Feet, turn right on US 61 VR. 
So here you are, your body is trying to get rid of feces and urine, and you seeking pleasure. You think drinking pee pee and eating doo doo that's a that's, that's a pleasurable thing. We live in an unnatural society. How disgusting. Dwayne Wayne's son is caught up in Holly Weird. What do you expect? It's freaky. Turn left on US 61 North. These people, these people have origins. These people swap wives. See, look, when you have money and don't have nothing else to do, the only thing you got to do is sit around. What can I do to occupy my time? You don't have to worry about the light bill. You don't have to worry about the gas bill. You don't have to worry about college tuition. So you just lay around and think of some freak ass crap instead of what can I do to make my society better? You decide to sit on your ass. How can we get more freaky? Matter of fact, in the soul community, remember, that was a word we used to live, we used to, uh, hey, what's up there, silly me? And zeal. Remember, in our community, there was a time when we used that word freaky all the time. Do you know what a freak is? A freak is somebody outside of the norm. Freak is something that is unnatural. If you, if you are born with 12 fingers instead of 10, that's abnormal, that's freaky. It's a, uh, it's abnormal behavior. I feel sorry for the young boy because it's not his fault. He's a victim of a freaky country, a freaky nasty society. He's a product of his environment. I don't know what's wrong with us in the soul community, black community, however you want to call it, but we as a group of people, we run around here in our self-righteousness. You live in a country that practice slavery for over 300 years. You live in a country where they lynched us for hundreds of years, very violent. You live in a country where they raped us for 400 years. I was doing a very simple Google search trying to find gay and homosexual slaves. And there was none. There's no reports. I could not find no reports of gay and homosexual transgender slaves. So, if we did not produce gays and homosexuals or transgenders during slavery, where they come from all of a sudden? Now you got a young boy that talk about, he's 12 years old, talk about he wants surgery to be a girl. Hey, how, how you doing that, Jones, man? Appreciate it. Where did this come from? There was no homosexual and gay slave. You say that it's natural. 300, 400 years, I'm trying to find information 
where slave owners was making reports, hey, what's wrong with my slave? The female slaves trying to get with the female slave, the male slaves trying to get with the male slave. I cannot find any reports. So clearly, this was not happening among slaves. It's not natural, because we would have been producing that. It also would have made, that's right, that's right, Don. It's the environment. The young boy, we don't know what kind of freakish behavior that he see living in Hollywood. Chances are he was raised on Similac milk and they put estrogen in this milk. They put estrogen in canned food in places you don't think that it would we don't we don't control our food supply and the estrogen they say is plant-based it's still female when you give estrogen to a male you think gonna what you think can happen to him he's gonna end up like Dwayne Wade's son. And even though Dwayne Wade has millions of dollars, he does not produce his own food. He buys Similac milk. He eats foods out of, these, out of cans. Feed his children the same stuff that anybody else get. Same food supply. And then this child is exposed to the media, which is which is controlled by homosexual and gay type folks, and they are pushing this mindset, this mentality. You can see men kissing men and women kissing women on TV now. I remember when I was a young boy coming into puberty and because of the TV that's what put the idea in my mind because of the TV I remember somebody talking about homosexual behavior and because of my shyness I was only shy I was not homosexual I was only shy but because of the what I heard on TV, I was telling myself because I was shy around girls, maybe I'm a homosexual because I'm shy around girls, but I feel more comfortable, you know, around my own gender. I'm trying to figure this out as a young boy. I was just shy. I was not homosexual. But what if I wasn't a, a thinker like I was when I was young. What if I decided to, to, to entertain that thought, I'm a homosexual? Because of the television. So you have the television, you got poison food, that young boy is a is a, is living in Holly Weird around all these freaks. Not only ho Holly Weird. Y'all just nasty and freaks, period. We did not have that during slavery. I don't recall that during Jim Crow. You start getting freaky and nasty once you was allowed to get close to your massa. And he always been a freak. That's why he raped you. That's why he did all kinds of freaky things to the slaves. He was always that. The culture in Europe, as many of you know, was always freaky. It was always lesbians. It was always lesbians. It was always homosexuality. your environment. 
What created Dwayne Wade's son is very simple. It's this filthy, violent, disgusting environment that we live on, that we live in. You could easily have been a victim. I could have easily been a victim. That's what this society produces. It should not be shocking. It should not be shocking to know that Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union support their son in freakish behavior because they freaks. They freaks. So why would you be shocked that they support their son in freakish behavior? The whole country that you live in is a bunch of freaks. Wife swapping, pedophilia, rape, 24 hours a day. Any of us could end up missing. Any of us. To be a victim of this violent nation. You got people in this country sacrificing human beings, preferably virgins and children in their freakish religious cults. Why you think, why you think so many people are missing? You have sex trafficking and, and, and slavery. Why do you think so many people are missing? And if you're not careful, you could be missing. If you fall into the right category. Now somebody like me, an old man, I'm not desirable. But for y'all youngsters, you better watch yourself. At the bus stop. In a dark place on a parking lot. You don't know what predator is watching you. That's the kind of society that we live in. Your children are, are prey. You are constantly surrounded by predators. You probably would have a better chance, you probably have a better chance living with the pythons and the crocodiles in the jungle. No, Brother Don, I would suggest to you that you keep that child where that child is. I would not suggest to nobody to bring a child into this jungle. They say that this is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Why would you want to bring your child into a place that's called a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Why would you want to bring your children into a place that's filthy and disgusting as this one? Why would you want to do that? When your time is over, you should be happy. Don't do it, Don! Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> It is this environment. Now some of you are religious. And so even your own religion tell you what you need to do living in a country like this. In religious text it says, come out of her, my people, come out of her. She's a habitation of devils, a place for every foul and hateful bird. You need to come out or you need to kick the rulers or those who created the situation, you need to remove them from office, one or the other. Otherwise, 
Why are you expecting righteous, kosher, clean behavior from a place that's a toilet bowl? We do that all the time. Why is there so murder? How come people murder the way they do? Why is there so much rape? Why do people lie? Why do people... This is the United States of America. That's what it was built on. Slavery, rape, lies, deceit, homosexuality, and the list goes on and on. That's what the United States is. Why are you expecting heaven on earth living in the United States of America? And why is it your business about Dwayne Wade's son? You better handle your own problem. Take your self-righteous ass somewhere else. They do not give a damn about what you're talking about. And why are you crying about Dwayne Wade's son? What about your own filthy, nasty behavior? Some of y'all can't even talk because you got a penis in your mouth. You look at somebody's booty. You just as nasty and freaky as they are. What make you special? Y'all doing freak stuff too. So what difference do it make? How can a freak tell another freak what they should and should not do? Hey, what's up there, Diana? How can a freak Tell another freak what they should and should not do. You just as nasty and disgusting as they are. Ain't nothing holy. Ain't nothing holy about you. You got somebody like Little Boozy. Talk about Dwayne Wade. He ain't nothing but a damn dope thing. And chances are he freaky too. How the hell is he in a position to tell anybody anything? The same thing with us as a people. You always got these Negroes, Pan-African, Black First, RBG Nation, you always got these Negroes who ain't nothing but a slave. They ain't no more than you are. Always trying to tell you how to think, what to do. Negro, you a slave just like me. You ain't changing nothing. How the hell you gonna tell me what to do? Your RBG nation, your black first, your comedic crap, whatever it is, Hebrew, you a slave just like me. Your condition is just like mine, if not worse. We are freaks. The United States are freaks in this toilet bowl. And if you're not a freak, People look at you like you're really crazy. You mean to tell me you don't suck no, no penis? You mean to tell me you don't eat no booty? You don't lick no vagina? What's wrong with you? You mean to tell me you don't drink? You don't smoke? You don't molest children? You don't want to beat? You don't want to take a brick and beat a woman upside her head? What's wrong with you? This is a nation of violence. This is a nation of freaks. Come out of her, my people. And I tell you that the first step is what I call the Mississippi campaign. You know I was gonna bring that up. Because you need to separate. You need to remove yourself from the toilet bowl. You need to get out of her. See, some of these people are freaks. They are not holy and righteous. They are self-righteous. They are freaks themselves. Judging freaks. The reason why there was no homosexuals, there was no gay slaves, because the slave was not in that kind of environment and it's not natural, so they would not produce that. 
If it was natural, they would produce it. It's not natural. It's freak behavior. It's man-made. It's man-made behavior. They start teaching these young children and showing these young babies freak behavior as soon as they are born. Just like you give these children religion. As soon as these children come out the womb, you teach them freakish behavior and you give them God. Otherwise, they wouldn't have no God. This is a fact. Ain't nobody come out the womb and start looking for God. Nobody. Everybody that know about God, it was taught to you by a man. God did not bring it to you. A man taught you about God. Unnatural. It's unnatural to believe in God. You're supposed to act on what you know, not on what you believe. Act on what you know. You believe until it become a reality. If it can't, if it's if it's not becoming a reality, then you don't need it. Animals, animals do not act on what they believe. They act on and respond to what they know. You might see a fox that go to a hole and they believe, they believe to a certain point. They're using their senses and they smell a rabbit. But after a certain period of time, that rabbit gotta show up. They said, the hell with belief, I'm gone. Here you are waiting on God for thousands of years. You believe. That's crazy as hell. You will not wait on a cab or a bus for thousands of years. If that bus is five minutes late, if that cab driver is five minutes late, you have a fit. Like, damn, where you been? That bus five minutes late. But you're going to wait on Jesus and these spirits and these demons and these gods, you're going to wait on them for thousands of years. Are you serious? So it's very simple. It's none of my business. And I don't care. Because if you change the condition, and the Mississippi campaign is about changing our environment, changing our condition, so that we will produce a better people, a freak society, an abnormal, unnatural society, going to produce freaks. So Dwayne Wayne's son, Snoop Dogg's son, and your sons and your daughters out there, born, born boys, want to be girls, born girls, want to be boys, it's not shocking to me. Do your things, enjoy yourself, because you belong, this is where you belong in a freak society. You don't like it, then you gotta change it. It's not shocking to me, this is just how it is. And now they stepped up, they stepped up the freakish behavior, now we're talking about transgender abnormal behaviors. Have you ever seen a transgender squirrel? A transgender uh, ostrich? A transgender dog? Only in America produce this kind of behavior. It's not natural. It's abnormal. The poison that we eat, the poison air that we breathe, The media, the media that we listen to, all these are factors in creating this, this abnormal behavior. Well, I eat the food and uh, I listen to the music and I, I watch the movie 
I ain't no freak like that. No, you screwed up. You may not be on that level, but believe me, very few of us can live in America and not be screwed up. You got an anger management problem? Can I live in America and not be affected living in filth? That's just like saying you fell in a toilet, a, a septic tank, and it did not affect you, but you, you live in the septic tank. You fell in the septic tank. We all messed up. That's why I don't judge nobody. We all sick in some kind of way. That's the environment that we live in here in America. That's why I don't judge people. I, can't, I, don't, I don't judge Dwayne Wade or his wife or that, or that boy or you. I don't judge nobody. Because I know uh, the this, this society that we live in, it produces violence, nasty behavior. Look at the reality show. It's inter that's entertainment for us. Violence. Freakish behavior. Sucking and licking and laughing and woo! Murder! Every day! Stealing! Rape! Welcome to the United States of America! And y'all, y'all surprised? Speed warning. That Dwayne Wayne's son is acting the way he is? And you are surprised that Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union support their son? Why not? You got people in this country that support murderers. They have, they have serial killer cards like they have serial killer, like, like you see baseball cards, basketball, they have serial killer cards that people collect. They praise criminals like Al Capone, Bonnie and Clyde, and Jesse James. These people are praised criminals. But you got to understand, this is a criminal nation. And then you go to court, and a bunch of criminals are judging you. And you wonder why you can't get any justice. Hell, you got criminals judging you. <laughs> what you expect? I'm not no criminal. Negro, you need to sit yourself down. No, you messed up in, in, in other ways. But we all living in this country is affected by the filth, by the filth, the violence, the nationalism of the United States of America. That's what this country was built on. You live in a country that actually made a way of life of slavery. It's a way of life. Slavery was a way of life. It wasn't just something, oh, we go, we gonna get some slaves and make some money. It was a way of life. The same way it was a way of life for Bonnie and Clyde. That's how Bonnie and Clyde live. That's how Al Capone live. Criminal activity. That's how they live. That's how this country was living. A way of life. And y'all expecting heaven on earth and all these beautiful things. Living in a place that's what the United States of America is. Every chance the United States gets is bombing somebody, going to war with somebody, because that's what it is. It's a warmonger. It's not a peacemaker. It's a warmonger. They like to kill. They like to make mockery. You think they're not looking at Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union and having a good time laughing at what they created, they like, <laughs> it's funny. They look at you struggling, y'all confused, you don't know what the hell you are. 
I'm an African. I'm an Aboriginal. I'm a comedic. I'm a hero. People sitting back, looking at us, confused and all screwed up. They laughing at all the freaks in America. Here you are, they laughing at you. You a vegan. This is not nothing against vegan. But you have a false sense, you have a false sense of your veganism. And some of these vegans become self-righteous and think they better than other people. I'm a vegan. Your ass ain't, ain't gonna live no longer than nobody else. The only thing you're gonna succeed in is being a better looking corpse. You still breathe the same poison air. The plants that you eat was probably grown with fertilizer that got estrogen in it and other poisonous ass chemicals. You think that you can escape the freak and the abnormality of the United States of America. You cannot escape. That's why I tell you, take control of some of this land. You don't have to buy it, just take control of it so that you can do what you want with it. Take control of Mississippi. Change it, change it the way that you need it so that you can live instead of being instead of being surrounded in this poison. You can grow your own food with no estrogen and your own cows and chicken the way it needs to be done for so it can benefit you. And I guarantee you. Once you begin to do for yourself like that and compare and then you begin to compare Mississippi with the rest of the country, you're going to see it's all about environment. You're going to see that very few transgender and homosexual produced by Mississippi. You're going to see that your children are going to be smarter. You're going to see that the marriage rate is going to go up because our intent and the whole plan is to make a better people out of you. What's the sense of separating from the filth if you're not gonna become a better people? So the plan is to make a better people out of you. Something that the church has failed, the mosque has failed, all these religious places have failed you. So if you want something done, do it yourself. And that's what we wanna do in the state of Mississippi. That's what we want to do. Change the environment. No more Similac milk for our babies. We gonna do it real. Give the people a, a work ethic. Don't worry about your job. Work and do for yourself. So when you look at society, look at what you built. Stop tripping on the work. Oh, you think you better than somebody? Oh, I don't, I don't clean toilets for a living. Oh, so you're gonna sit on a dirty toilet. You don't clean, somebody gotta clean the toilet. You gotta let the people know that all the jobs are important. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Just because you're a professor don't mean you better than the person that clean toilets. We gonna make that clear. All people, everything that you do in society, everybody should be appreciated. Matter of fact, sometimes your creepy ass think you better than somebody. You need to come down here and do some damn toilets too. Ain't nobody your damn slave. I'm gonna clean toilets for you. Who the hell are you? Our whole mindset, the way we do things, has to change. It has to change. That's why the Mississippi campaign is important. You exodus, look, you are actually making an exodus and didn't even leave your country that you, that you was born and raised in. You are separating yourself and don't even leave the country. The only thing you want to do is create a sanctuary a place so that you can ostracize yourself from the sick because the rest of the country is sick 
So you want to quarantine yourself away from them. Otherwise, as you know, we'll be just as sick as they are. You want to change your environment. Now, if the people want to stay freaks, there's nothing that we can do about it. Keep on. Keep on, keep on doing what you do. But I don't know why you're complaining, because that's just the way America is. It's become a habitation of devils. A home for every foul and hateful bird. That's just what the United States is. It's not a righteous nation. It's a nation of freaks and violent folks. Every day, children being murdered. Every day, women being murdered sexually abused, exploited. That's America. They spend more time, they spend more time giving out speed tickets than they do trying to stop pedophiles and these sex trafficking rings and slave trafficking rings. So that goes to show you what is really important. None of my business. Wayne Wayne, Gabrielle Union, that you boy, it's none of my business. If you really want to stop that type of behavior, you have to change your condition. You have to change the environment. You don't want to do that. Sit your happy ass down. Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade don't get what I'm talking about. If they decide they're going to do that, they the parents, they gonna do Now for me, you need to sit your self-righteous ass down because your children not being raised too much better. Y'all all messed up just in a different way. Sit your self-righteous ass down. You really want to change things and run your damn mouth then actually take action and change your condition. So really, since you don't want to change your condition, you really are giving your approval of that type of behavior, that type of situation. That's what you're really doing. So you might as well shut the hell up. We need to change the environment. It's just a bus. And I heard some black some black person in, in the back of the bus talking a bunch of smack. I'm like, I wish they shut up. And then it was a it was a Caucasian person. Sounding sound probably sounding more black. Or Negro than many of us. I'm like, wow. Come to find out, he was raised with with soul brothers and sisters all his life. This is a Caucasian. He was raised with soul brothers and sisters all his life. So his environment was pure black folks, and that's what he was as far as he was concerned. He acted like us. He thought like us, the way we do. He was raised by us, his environment. And if you see, the same thing happened to us. When many of us raised by Caucasian people, the same thing happened to us. We act, we act white. That's what we was raised around, that's what we do. It's about the environment. Change the environment change the condition and you're going to get a different result but as long as we stay the way we are you're going to get that and worse pretty 
soon, the people, pretty soon the people that want to marry their dog, marry their cat, the people that's into bestiality, pretty soon they're going to make their presence known. I heard in, in, uh, in parts of Europe, they're already getting laws on the books so they can marry their horse, marry their cow, marry their dogs and stuff like that. I mean, what you expect? We're dealing with freaks. Why are you upset about how somebody stink and they live in a toilet? They supposed to stink. We stink, we live in a toilet. You're getting urine and feces all over you. What you expect? You wanna do different? Get out the toilet, clean yourself up, and change your ways. I don't care what Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade do. I don't care. Cause it's highly weird and that's just what freaks do. Mind you, it is not against the law. They are not breaking any law. So since they're not breaking the law, they are the parents. It's none of your business, not my business, not your, none of your damn business. They don't do with their, with their child what they want to do. So really, y'all can, can sit your happy ass down, really. Now, if that boy changes mind, oh well, that's between him, his daddy, and stepmom. Have nothing to do with me. But I, I understand that I live in a toilet bowl. And it's not shocking and surprising to me. You're gonna get that and worse. On that note, let me get out of here. I thank you so much for joining me early in the morning. Appreciate it. Until next time, I am the Mighty One Angel 7 Up 7. I wish us love, peace, and Dwayne Wade. I mean, I mean so. <laughs> I'm out, y'all.